Leah Marlene is with us today on Primetime Local News. Leah just wrapping up her turn on American Idol, finishing in the top three. Leah, congratulations. Thank you so much. Have you had a chance to really think about everything that happened? Just amazing things on American Idol. I mean, not only did you do so well, but you also got to perform with some great musical acts. Uh, Katy Perry, your dad was on stage for that. <sighs> like, do you still pinch yourself to think that how did this happen to me? Yeah, honestly, it feels like a fever dream, especially like coming back here. I'm like, did that ever even happen? Like, it's weird. And um, I think I've definitely had time to process it a lot more now that the show's been over and I've uh, been here and just kind of like thinking about everything that's happened and where I want to go moving forward. So um, it's it's sunk in a little bit because when, you, when you're on the show, there's no time to understand anything that's happening. So it's been, it's been nice to kind of understand uh, what just happened in my life the past two months of we're such a whirlwind. Um, and it's just crazy. Yeah, I totally like it felt like such a dream and it, it feels like such, such a dream looking back on it too. So being in the top three, Leah, does that mean that you have some obligations to American Idol still? Um, it's complicated. Like, um, there are contractual obligations once you get into the top 24 and then they can either pick you up or not. Um, and there's like a certain amount of time, uh, to where they kind of have like dibs over you post-show. So like, there's a, my, my hands are kind of tied in, in a few ways right now. Everybody has to wait out some like contractual, um, periods and yeah, so. Can you tell us anything? Is there a record deal on the horizon? Or are you allowed to talk about any of that at this point? Uh, no, there, I don't know. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Um, but um, I right now I'm, I'm doing things independently and kind of starting to try to assemble my own team. And um, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I ha happen to see a lot of uh, chats on in your pages and just in regards to American Idol, how people would like to see you and Fritz tour together. Is that something that maybe could possibly happen? Well, we're, we want it so bad, but again, there's like, our hands are a little bit tied right now. We can't plan anything at the moment. We have to go through a lot of people and things first. And so, um, so everybody's aware that we want to make that happen. It's really a matter of like, whether we'll be allowed to, and whether we're going to do it independently or through a team or like whatever, there's so much to figure out with that. But both of us in our hearts want it to happen. Uh, but we're going to see, you know, how everything unfolds um, business wise. So yeah, that's the deal with that. <laughs> One of the things on the show, Leah, was your chance to go back to your hometown, which is where you are now and do a show yeah. and have everybody turn out watching that was just amazing. What was that like for you coming back and having all that support? Um, it was crazy. It was so crazy. I think like I knew that my town was going to show up because throughout the whole show, like they have been so like, just crazy supportive already. And so I knew it was going to be such an incredible homecoming, but I never in my wildest dreams expected the turnout that that came out. And, um, you know, again, when you're in the show, you're like, go, 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 go. Like there's like, it's like full speed ahead all the time. And like, I was home for like maybe 24 hours. I got to come into my house for like 30 minutes and like literally just film. I didn't come down here. I didn't go up to my room, like nothing. So it's like, it's like very, it's just very, very quick. And so um, when I came home and like all these people were just like there, like I couldn't even like, I almost felt nothing because I was just like, <laughs> I couldn't compute what was happening in front of me. But I'm so glad that I have the footage from it. Cause now I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Now that I can like kind of understand and like wrap my head around things a little bit more, I have more space to do that. Um, it's really insane. And I like went to my um, uptown yesterday for the first time since um i was there for like fifteen thousand people there for like a concert for me and it was just weird like going back and be like wow last time i was here the entire town was here and there's still like so many everywhere i go there's like there's yellow like hearts and windows and around mailboxes and signs of me in people's front yards and like good luck leah or we love you leah like everywhere it's so it's so weird to be back and like see all the fallout it must have been fun to have your family as part of the show, too. I saw your mom and your brother and your dad throughout various parts of the whole entire show. That must have been kind of cool, especially with so much going on that they actually got a couple of times where they could come and see you, albeit for how you know a few minutes or however long it was. But still must have been really nice to have that that as part of the show, too. Yeah, that was the best. I mean, 
Um, I didn't know how much they were going to be able to come see me because it's expensive to, um, you know, fly out there, get a hotel, hotel room and stuff. But I'm so grateful for how often we were able to make it work. Like I had family at most of the live shows, especially as it went on. And um, I'm so grateful for that because it's such a light once in a lifetime experience. And both like both my mom and my dad ended up getting to like see my trailer, which is like pretty much where I spent my entire existence for like two months. And just to be able to like show them what I'm doing, what it's actually like like behind the scenes and like for them to be able to be there in person and understand like the the moment to moment of American Idol was just like it was so awesome. Well, Leah, I know you said you can't say too much, but can you give us a little bit of a hint of some of the things that you are working on right now while you're waiting to get things organized? Yeah. So um, again, I'm still sorting out a lot of stuff and there's a lot that I can't like uh, have any definitive answers on for for a bit. But um, my, my main priority this year is just to, to write like crazy and I'll definitely be putting out, uh, like another project probably by like, by this time next year. So that's kind of the main priority is like writing the best music I've ever written, but I'm hoping to, um, I'm definitely going to be playing some shows, um, but I'm hoping, you know, to go on a little tour and, um, that's, that's about it. Like, it's really going to be a lot of behind the scenes work in assembling a team and not rushing things if they're not right like really like just doing things the right way and setting myself up for for a long career and a very strong team moving forward so it might not be as much external stuff of, as you've seen of me in like the past four months um but it's because i really want to build that solid foundation so that when i'm ready to really launch this on my own like it's we're going to be ready so that's where i'm at well, Leah, thanks for talking to us and, and for speaking with us throughout the whole Idol experience. I know you were so busy and, you know, you take time to speak with us just even on your days off. So we appreciate it. We will continue to follow your career and we wish you the best. Thanks again for chatting today. Thank you so much for supporting me since way before Idol. And uh, I'm so glad that we still get to uh, talk throughout this entire journey. So thank you.